What up, fam? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're not on the farm today. Um, we won't be for a few days. We are on the road. We're heading to Adelaide for the Ag Leader Dealer Conference. Alright, so we dropped Chelsea and Alex off at the hotel. Now we've come out to the golf course, which is where the testing is going to be done. Ooh, this golf course has got some nice grass on it. It is cool. But this will be good to see. So we're in the little test vehicle with Doug here. Um, we're testing out the new Aglita, um, what's it called? Right spot. Right spot. Um, and so we've, we've got over here our pressure gauge. Whoop, pressing buttons. <laughs> there we go. We got our pressure gauge and the nozzle that we're using. Um, so, and a few other different things. What this new product is from Aglita is pulse width modulation nozzles. So the nozzles are flashing on and off, as you'll see in the slow mo video here. Um, and this is this is new technology with turn compensation, and um, it, it really allows us to to make sure that our our droplet size is correct for our application that we're doing. So a little bit more about um, this Aglita spraying system. Um, so it works on the nozzles pulsating like this. Um, and as you speed up and you want more water to come out at the same rate, but because you're going faster, covering more ground, more water needs to come out, it pulses faster and faster and faster. Um, so I'm not sure if the footage will show it, but they actually pulse op opposite. Um, so the, the one on the left will pulse and then the one on the right will pulse in between. So um, another cool thing. Um, and another big thing that it does is as you turn around the corner, the end of your boom that's turning the fastest is going a lot faster than the inside of your boom. So it actually speeds up a lot faster to make, to um, maintain consistent rate out there and the inside of your boom where it's going really slow actually slows down to um, maintain consistent rate and droplet size there so it's um it's very very cool um, and yeah chemical chemical is expensive and it's good to have it on at the right rates where it needs to be and this this will help it help that out quite a bit show them the hotel room no. Show everyone around the hotel room. No. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh, what happened? Uh. Have a look at this, Alex. An ag leader backpack. Let's have a look in it. Mm. What's mm. in here? Mm. What can you see? Whoa, see what you can get out. What is it? <gasps> What's that? A stubby holder. 
Anything else? Whoa, chippies! Oh, how cool! What else is in here? Have a look. Oh, yes. A run sheet of the day. What else? Oh, what is these? SMS training sheet and an Ag Leader product brochure. How cool! Very cool. Is there anything else in there? Have a look. See what you can get out. Uh. Oh, what is it? Oh, look. Look at this. A hat. A hat. Do you want me to put your hat on? Mm. Okay. Got your hat on? Mm. And your chip? Alright, so I got my presentation done at the Ag Leader conference yesterday, but I didn't film any of it. <laughs> so you just have to trust me that it went pretty good. Um, yeah. Now we're actually on our way down to Mount Gambia, or Port Macdonald, in fact, to, um, to go fishing. And rather than going the shorter way that we, we travel, have travelled before, we um, decided to go the scenic way. We're going, um, following the coast from Adelaide, or well not from Adelaide, from Tail and Bend, we turned off the main highway, and we're taking the, the more backtrack route along the coast, and yeah, it's a pretty interesting sort of scenery out here. Uh, there's a, a lot of soil that looks fairly similar to our northern stuff, quite sandy, um, there's a lot of rocks, and it looks very salty, so yeah. I find it very interesting to see different people's soil types. It's good, good to see a bit of scenery. Alex, where did we make it? To Kingston, Larry the Lobster. So we're a fair way south now, and we come across this interesting looking crop that is growing under a centre pivot. Um, that crop, do you have any guesses, Chels? Um, <laughs> is it they? It's seed carrots. Carrots. Carrots for seed, so yeah, very interesting. Alright, so we left Adelaide and came down here to Port Macdonald. Um, Port Macdonald in um, South Australia because we were invited on a fishing trip, a surf fishing trip. Um, yeah, so we're down here and we've only just got started and the goat, he has caught one. Look at that. Wow. Well, smashing it. Woohoo! Well, um, that one was size, but we decided to put it back. So, um, yeah, we'll keep fishing, see what else we get. Look at this, he's caught another one. <laughs> He'll be able to see it. The sun hasn't gone down much. Not much time passed since the last one. No one's had a bite and he's got two. Come on. Oh, look at this. He's got one, dad's got one. A little snapper. Very nice. Right, so I get plenty of questions asking how I edit my videos. So I'll just run you through a quick process. I have taken the, the files off of the GoPro, which you're watching on, using my adapter into here onto my hard drive. And I like to um, catalog them like this. So you can see this is 2022. And the video that I've done is RAM removal. So you can see all the videos here. Now I copy them from there, from this RAM removal file into my iMovie project. And then it's here like this. And I'll go through, you can see this one here has no sound on it. That's a time lapse. Um, this one also has no sound on it. Um, yeah, so I just go through 
trim out any bits that I don't like, add music in to any time lapses, um, and yeah, make sure it all makes sense and make sure it's not too long because this is well, 40 minutes of footage. I'm not going to make it 40 minutes long, so I'll trim it down a bit, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I did a really bad job of um, showing how I finished that video. I saved it, uploaded it to YouTube, made myself a thumbnail, um, which is the cover photo for the video, did up the description and the title and everything, and then put it out. Um, so yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.